All right. First and foremost, give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shah, Bashem, Rakak, Wadash. The line said, Elders and Apostles, a great millstone who rule well and who was worthy to be counted for the blinders. And peace, I taste you, brothers out there pushing the truth wholeheartedly and sincerely and for love of the gospel. All right. It's the brother Kabari from the Indiana camp. Come back at you again with another sit down to basically, uh, to just do a response video to the, um, to the brother in, um, GMS Dallas class 144. Uh, I think the video was entitled, um, uh, not uh, uh, condemning yourselves on a thing that you that you were that you are allowed to something to that effect. I think I, I think I mangled it up a little bit, but um, uh, if you just go in and says uh, you know, condemning and the things that you are not allowed, you know, you should you know you should be able to find the video, uh, or Lord willing, I'll be able to put the video in the description box, um, for you brothers to go check it out. But this is basically a response to that you know, video where um, you know, I just got done watching the video about maybe ten minutes ago. And uh, the brother, um, the brother, you know, it, it was a uh, very edifying um, about basically uh, one scripture that was going through on through my mind um, that was going through my mind through the whole entire video is uh, letting not your sins weigh you down. All right. The brother was going into um, how um, though you mess up on the flesh, though you, you might fall, though you might, you know, go off is your it's your faith. That, that 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 you can stand back up again, go to Yahweh Bashim Yahshah, confess your sins, stand back up again, and walk in sin no more, man. All right. So that's that that you know keeping that faith, keeping that um that confidence in Yahweh Bashim Yahshah is what is what pushes us to do better. All right. That's the that's what makes us different. Be, uh, 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 that's what makes us different from the church, man. The church. Just sins willfully. The church keeps doing doing what they're they're doing over and over and over again. Where we once we do it one or two times, whatever we done, you know, knowing if it's right or not knowing. Guess what, man? We supposed to, uh, 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 uh we supposed to uh, uh, ask the Lord for forgiveness and keep move, keep it pushing, man. All right, and keep it moving, man. Not going to do that same thing again. Whether it's going off on a Sabbath. Or, you know, any of the various scriptures. Oh, you uh, you slipped up and ate a taco your, your, your co-worker gave you. And he just, you know, he told you, oh, yeah, that was a pork taco the day o that day after. You know, slipping up, asking the Lord for forgiveness and keep moving forward. All right, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get the scripture. This is um Second Ezra chapter 16. I'm going to start from 75. It says, be not afraid, neither doubt. For Yahweh is your guide and the guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts, which is the word precept mean commandment. All right. It says. It says, say if the Lord God, let not your sins weigh you down and let not your iniquities lift up themselves. See, so iniquity is but an iniquity is um a, a, a repetitive sin. Repetitive sin is a, is, is a basically iniquity. If you look up the word iniquity, it means repetitive sin. All right. So sinning upon sinning upon sinning is eventually, is, you know, you bring forth iniquity. Um. But uh, 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 it says, uh, uh, it says, let not your sins weigh you down. So basically what, man, you moping, woe is me, woe is me. I ain't no good. I'm never going to be no good. The Lord ain't going to use a, a filthy, pathetic rag like me. The Lord don't want me. I'm too, I'm too messed up. I'm going to go on here and just do my own thing because the Lord ain't going to use some, somebody like me, man. I'm, I'm messed. You're letting your sins weigh you down. You always constantly dwelling, man, I'm fucked up, man. I'm fucked up, man. Man, the Lord ain't dealing with me, man. The Lord keep fucking me up, man. The Lord punishing me too much. Man, I keep fucking up on this. I keep fucking up on that, man. I can't I can't do right. Listen, man, if the spirit is on you to still push this word, to do the work, hey man, the Lord is still dealing with you, man. If the if the spirit on you is to still do the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahshah, man, the Lord has not lifted his spirit. Because guess what? There's men out here that had that drive, that had that same drive that you had. But guess what? They don't have it anymore. That's how you know the Lord took his spirit away from him, man. They don't have the the drive to do um to do videos, to go out on highways and byways, to teach no more, man. You know? And some of these guys knew precepts back and forth, knew the Bible like it was like like it was like their um like it was a book they read, um since they want since they since they was first born you know they knew the scriptures man but guess what the lord took their took the, his spirit away from them and they didn't have nothing after that they didn't have anything they didn't have the drive to do anything man you know uh it says woe be it says woe be unto them that are bound with their sins and convert with their iniquity like as a field is covered over with bush and the path thereof covered with thorns 
that no man may travel through. Yeah, man. So here you are. You're 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 you're, you're supposed to be a beautiful metal field, you know, it's supposed to be uh, 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 acres and acres of land. But you letting this one bush, this one thorn, the things that, that, that kind of throw you off, you letting that cloud your judgment. You're letting that be, um, how can I say, um, you're letting that overtake you, man. You know? You're letting that, you're letting little things that's gonna that's gonna come, you know, you're gonna fall off, man. Scripture says a righteous man uh, uh falleth seven times, man. You're gonna fall. It, it, it's it, it's it, it's inevitable, you know? We all do it, we all mess up, man. You know, hey, like Rocky said, he said, it's not about how hard you can hit. He was talking about boxing wise, but I'm looking at a spiritual. It's not how hard you can hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward, man. All right. That's how winning is done. You know, you think if I fall in the race, you think I'm going to just get up because everybody's laughing at me. I scrape my knee. It hurts. Yeah, it's going to hurt. Yeah, it's going to hurt my uh, my self-esteem because people are laughing at me. It's going to hurt my leg because now I got a, a, a long gash on my knee. You know, yeah, it's going to hurt. But guess what? You know what's also going to hurt more than that? To let to, 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 to everybody say, yeah, that's the dude that couldn't finish the race. He failed and, then, and just left the race alone. That's going to hurt even more because what? That sticks around longer. I'd rather get laughed at at that moment right there and have a little a little scar than, than not finish the race. I'm going to get back up, wipe the scar off, make sure the scar is cool. And then guess what? I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a jet for the uh, finish line, man. All right. Let me get that scripture. This is a uh, first Corinthians chapter, first Corinthians chapter nine and verse 24. It says, know ye not that which run in a race run at all, but one, but one receiveth the prize. So run that ye may obtain. See, so guess what? And if you don't cross that finish line, you don't receive a prize, man. All right. And everybody, and I'm telling you, everybody that crossed that finish line receives a prize, you know? You know, you know, you know, of course, they got prizes for the first top five or six people. But guess what? What are the prizes for everybody behind that? They have the they have the prize to say, hey, I finished. I done. I, I'm done. You know, I finished my course. I finished the race. A lot of people can't say that. A lot of people that didn't even participate in the race can't say, oh, I, I finished the race, too. You know, a lot of people that's in the race that quit and turned around and start going doing their own thing. They can't say that. You know, they can't say I finished the race. So that's actually a prize saying, oh, well, hey, I might not have got a physical reward, but guess what? I got a prize, man. I finished. I finished the race, man. If you look at an, um, a 20-mile uh, marathon, 20-mile marathon, and it's 100 people, the first top five people get all rewards. But guess what? Over half didn't even finish the race. So you, what you think that, um, what's that? If it's, if it's 55, what you think that 45 people going uh, 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 to say, man? At least I finished. That's going to be the prize. I'm going to say, oh, you ran in that race? Because guess what? If I heard about that race, you know what my question would be? My question would be, oh, you ran in that race? Oh, okay. Did you finish? And it's like, yeah, yeah, I finished. I'm like, well, damn, cool, bro. That was twenty. That was 26 miles. Shit. Cool. Hey, you know, I, I couldn't do that. Yeah, I, I commend the person that did that. You know, hey, at least you finished. I, you know, he says, oh, did you finish? Nah, man, I ain't finished, man. That shit was too long. I'm like, ah, well, that shit, man. Oh, damn. You know? But you commend the people that actually finished, man. You know? So, yeah, we're going to fall off, man. It's going to happen. But we have to get back up and keep moving, man. All right? Yeah, we're going to sin. It's going to happen, man. But with our faith, with our uh, uh, with the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, and our faith in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh we got to just know. Guess what? Because guess, you know what? Let me say like this. Because guess what? I bet you not. Whatever that you messed up on, you feeling all guilty, I bet you you won't do it again. I bet you when the opportunity comes, your your first thing is going your mind. You say, "Nope, I'm not doing that again." I know how I, I did it last time, and I'm not doing it again. You know, matter of fact, let me get this scripture right quick. This is um, Second Ezra, sixteen and sixty seven. It says, it says, behold, Yahweh himself is judge and fear him. Leave off from your sins and forget your iniquities to meddle no more with them forever. 
says, so, so shall Yahweh lead you forth and deliver you from all trouble. See, so once you sin, once you do iniquity, guess what? Meddle not no more with those sins, man. Don't worry about how did you, damn, how did I do that? How, well, why did I do that? You know, don't, hey, forget about them and keep moving forward, man. All right. Hey, let's see what Yahweh Shah said to this woman. You know, I know where it's at. All right, this is uh, John chapter 8 and verse, and verse 6. It says, this, this they say, tempting him, it's like it. This they say, they tempted him, that they might have to accuse him. But yeah, I wish I stooped down and with you know what let me read um let me start from verse three it says and the scribes and the pharisees brought unto him a woman taken in adultery and when they had set her in the midst they said master this woman was taken in adultery in the very act when moses and the law commanded us that such should be stoned it says but sayest thou but what but, but what sayest thou this it says this they say tempting him that he might have to to accuse him but Yahweh Shah, but Yahweh Shah stooped down and with his finger wrote on the ground as though he heard them not, like as he heard them not. So it says, so when the so when they continue asking, he lifted up himself and said, He that is without sin among you, let him cat let him first cast a stone at her. And again he stooped down and wrote on the ground. And they which heard it, being convinced by their own conscience. It says when when went out one by another, beginning at the beginning at the eldest, even unto 